Welcome to the Halton District School Board's Celebrating Service for 2021. Tonight's celebration begins with comments from the Board's Associate Director, David Bogue. Hi everyone, and welcome to our June 2021 Retirement Celebration. As you know, each year we pay tribute to all our retirees, and tonight we're paying tribute to all of you. This will be our second virtual retirement celebration. We find ourselves in a very similar spot as we were in last year at this very same time with an ongoing pandemic. I do think, however, there's a little more optimism that we might be closer to the light at the end of the tunnel. Without question, it's been a very difficult year for all of us, for our staff and their families, and our students and their families. I'd like to start this evening by saying thank you. I want to thank all of you for your years of service, for your commitment to public education, and your dedication to the Halton District School Board, and particularly for your unwavering support this past year through very challenging times. Whether you work in a classroom directly with students, whether you're in a support role, an itinerant role, or if you work on our corporate side, you all influence the learning of our students every day. The contribution that each of you makes impacts learning environments in our classrooms, staff working conditions, the ability to resource our schools, to have clean and efficient facilities, and to ensure the whole organization continues to function at a very high level. All of you, regardless of your role, have stepped up to the challenges of a global pandemic to ensure that our students had a very successful year. Like so many things this year, we've become very good at virtual, and this virtual celebration is no different. So being virtual, I do hope you have loved ones with you to celebrate this milestone. Collectively, you are our graduating class of 2021, and we wish you all the very best in whatever next comes your way. Please sit back and enjoy the rest of our celebration. Hello everyone, it's Tracy L. Harrison here. I'm the trustee for Wards 1 and 2 Oakville, and I have the honor of serving as the vice chair of the board. It's my pleasure to be a part of this tribute to a great group of retirees, the class of 2021. First, I'd like to start by honoring the land. Halton as we know it today is rich in history and modern traditions of many First Nation and the Métis. From the Anishinaabe to the Attawandaran, the Haudenosaunee and the Métis, these lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped in Indigenous history. As we gather today on these treaty lands, we have the responsibility to honour and respect the four directions, land, waters, plants, animals, ancestors that walked before us, and all the wonderful elements of creation that exist. We would like to acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for sharing their traditional territory with us. The paths that bring this group together are diverse, north, south, east, west, elementary, secondary, central, and much more. But no matter where you're coming from, we're all together now in a uniquely 2021 way in celebration of all Halton retirees. As unconventional as this year has been, please know that it's all the more reason to shine the spotlight more brightly on your accomplishments, the relationships you've made and the positive impact you've had on colleagues, community, and most importantly, students. It's all the more reason to celebrate that you, we, made it together. I'm recording this on a warm sunny day with great hopefulness as we gather for this celebration and after we leave each other's company to find and continue great adventures, may we have and be grateful for good fortune that's plentiful and shareable, good family and friends who love, support and celebrate you, good fulfillment found by pursuing and sharing your passions, good fun in all that you do. May you and those around you be healthy and happy, and may you have and share peace and love now and always. On behalf of the entire Board of Trustees, I want to offer our sincerest heartfelt congratulations. All the best in your retirement. It now gives us great pleasure to introduce the 2021 graduating class of the Halton District School Board.
congratulations to our graduating class of 2021. Chair of the Board Andrea Grabentz will now provide the toast to our retirees. First, I would like to say a special thank you to the wonderful people who helped put this fantastic event together. The retiree data was supplied by Shoba Drapal and Sari Taha in HR. Thank you to Susan Thrasher, Lori Degabriel, Doris Medeiros, Joanne Zabo, and Julia Abru for their administrative help. Thank you to Rita Radis on helping with design. Thank you to Kevin Raposo for his unequaled video creation and editing skills. And finally, thank you Gail Gortmaker, who spearheaded this event. What a fabulous job you have done. And now for the rest of you who are leaving us. Thank you. Thank you for all you have done for the Halton District School Board. Thank you for all you have done for current and former students of the Halton District School Board. Thousands and thousands of lives. Thank you to those who have laid the groundwork for future students. Every role within this organization, directly or indirectly, supports our students and their education. This means that you have had influence on the shaping of the future of our society, the work in progress that it is. Last year has been pretty wild with the pandemic. And for many of you, it required you to learn and adapt in ways you hadn't needed to through your very long careers. Thank you for doing this. In your work with the board, you have inspired innovators, inspired activism and social justice. You have inspired teamwork, self-reliance and critical thinking, inspired artistic, musical and dramatic expression. You have inspired empathy and kindness, curiosity, tenacity, and resilience. You cheered on the outstanding successes and you commiserated and strategized over challenges. You created, maintained, and supported the environment that allowed this inspiration to happen. You have affected lives and you should be proud. I understand that there are 207 retirees this year, comprised of elementary and secondary teachers, early childhood educators, educational assistants, caretakers, maintenance staff, administrators, office support staff, both corporate and in school, and instructional support workers who all help Halton students succeed and succeed they do. Our board is the envy of most. I'm always bursting with proud when, pride when I say I'm the chair of the Halton District School Board. I believe in what we do, and I believe in the people who do it. On behalf of all of the trustees, thank you for giving so much of yourself to the Halton District School Board. And I'll leave you with this thought. It's time for you to journey on. Your time here is complete. Lives touched and minds inspired. You've dedicated your lives to others, to our future and beyond. You are leaving, but your legacy lives on. The infectious curiosity, the ambition, the music, the kindness, the art, the drama, the eureka moments, the winning shots, the engagement, the smiles, and the support you gave the system and students will do us well for society. You've created a springboard to whole new worlds. You've done it for the students, for all of us. Have the time of your life in retirement. You deserve every moment, and every moment is now yours. Congratulations, 
and here's to you. I'm starting to work on uh, the retirement speech we've been asked to do. Oh, when's that due? Well, a couple of days ago. What do you have so far? Well, um, that uh, we need to acknowledge uh, Chair Grimentz and thank her. Uh, what else? Well, we were asked to respond on behalf of all the retirees. Graduating class. We do this together? Yeah, I don't think they realize we've never actually worked together in our time here. <laughs> and worse, I'm not very serious, and you're not very funny. Hey, you got any ideas? Well, we've been to retirements, and, and what do people usually talk about? Well, they usually talk about, you know, things that were happening at when they started their career. You mean like, well, we could talk about what education was like when we started. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember getting a paycheck, like physically being handed a paycheck, and having to take it to the bank and put it in the account? I remember being the teacher that got all the Macintosh computers, the big <laughs> bricks. They were giant bricks and, and all the students had floppy disks that you had to keep. And we had one of those dot matrix printers. And we would just go through all this paper and the kids would make banners and you had to make sure that it was perfectly lined up. <laughs> I will never forget lining up early in the morning when you got into school for the ditto machine. Double layers, clickety, clickety, click. And those fumes, it will never leave me. Fridays when the film bag came in. It used to come in in the mail and you would pull out the reel to reel film and you'd have to put it in the projector and make sure it was perfect so that the movie wasn't over and all the film was gathered on the floor. The kids were so excited when that bag came in. Oh boy. Um, why don't we talk about what's happening in the world instead? Okay, so let, let me just see. Okay, so oh, that was the year that the first free trade agreement was signed. Oh, look at the leaders. Brian Mulroney, Ronald Reagan, Margaret Thatcher. Oh, Benazir Bhutto was the first uh, woman prime minister in a Muslim country in Pakistan. It was the year of the Calgary Winter Olympics. Wayne Gretzky was traded to the LA Kings and, and Ben Johnson had his gold medal stripped. It was also the first year that CDs outsold vinyl. Yeah, we should never have sold our vinyl. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, let's go with um, popular culture and things like that, like okay. CDs, music. Uh, the number one song was George Michael Faith. Okay. Um, the record of the year, Graceland, Paul Simon, and U2, Joshua Tree was the album of the year. Wow. Okay, well, the Academy Award that year, the best picture, went to The Last Emperor. Yeah, we didn't see that. Um, but we did see Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Good Morning Vietnam, Rain Man, A Fish Called Wanda, and Bull Durham. Hit the mascot. <laughs> the TV shows, the top, the top TV shows, well, the top two of them we probably shouldn't talk about anymore. It's kind of like Voldemort. Uh, but look, Different World, Cheers, 60 Minutes, Golden Girls, Who's, hey. who's the boss? Okay. Um, maybe we should talk about the pandemic. Like, I mean, it's front and center, and maybe how it's prepared us for retirement. Um, well, we have every single streaming service. <laughs> we read a lot more now. The Leafs lost again. Yeah, well, the importance of connecting, staying connected. Well, we eat dinner at a regular time, like 6 o'clock every single night, and talk about what's for dinner before lunch. We also know about the importance of health and well-being. It's pointed that out for us. Travel will be exciting. Like during the pandemic, any trip out of the house, even for small <laughs> things, was like a major event. Yeah, good point. We also learned, though, about the importance of looking after ourselves and looking after one another. Yeah. So these are all good ideas, but what exactly were we told to do? Yeah, we, we were told that um, we should celebrate the retirees. A little bit of humor. Well, hopefully people smiled. A little bit of reflection. Well, we did go back in time and talk about a whole bunch of things, and we weren't specific about the roles that we've been in. There are 
209 people retiring, and they're all from different employee groups. Wow. Well, tonight really is an opportunity to celebrate and recognize all of those retirees and the contributions and services that they've provided to Halton District School Board. What better opportunity than now to do that? You know, you and I have both had a number of different roles in the board, and that meant that we had a chance to meet lots of different people in a variety of different roles that's all supported this organization. What's amazing is we also got to know some pretty cool people. Well, from school-based staff to central-based staff, we've seen remarkable individuals and teams who play instrumental roles across this organization to ensure that our students can achieve and succeed. So here's to all our fellow retirees who've provided support and services to keep this organization moving forward in the service of students. We see you. To those of you in business services, the team who made sure we could order what we needed for students, kept us out of financial trouble, and made sure our paychecks were on time, we see you. To our colleagues in human resources who helped us find the best people for every role in our system and kept us healthy at the same time, we see you. To the amazing team in facility services who helped both of us and many others here open new schools. And to those who support our schools every day ensuring buildings are clean, safe and welcoming for students, staff and families, we see you. To the team at Halton Student Transportation Services for keeping our students safe on the road and managing the many challenges of snow days and courtesy seats, we see you. To the Wizards in the Information Services Department, from the Student Information System team, Pink IT, Green IT, and the Info Center, we could always count on quick and helpful support that made even our tech skills passable. We see you. To the remarkable educators and professionals in schools programs and in student services for always providing support and guidance to ensure that we had the very best resources at our fingertips to support all our learners, we see you. To the superintendents and exec team in school operations who were only ever a call away to provide wise counsel for every question or sticky situation we found ourselves in, thank goodness, we see you. To our school-based colleagues, including front office staff, educational assistants, all classroom educators, and administrators who center students at the heart of what we do each and every day to ensure the best possible outcomes for our students. We see you. And one final group, really an individual to recognize in this year's graduating class, Director Stuart Miller, who as a result of his unfailing commitment to public education as a driver for the creation of a more just society has left a lasting legacy here in the Halton District School Board. We see you too. Tonight, we celebrate and recognize the soon-to-be retirees from all areas of the Halton District School Board as we prepare to launch into new adventures that lie ahead. As we look forward to what is next for all of us, we are reminded of all that has occurred in the world these past few years. We are reminded that we must be better. We have been reminded that with all of our blessings, we still have more to do to improve the outcomes for all who live in this country. The last 16 months, our last 16 months in our roles, have been unlike any other, and we are getting through it together. We should all be congratulated on that. So going forward, how can we all be better for each other? How can retirement help us be better people? We hope for you, you find your best lives. So from the two of us, we wish you much love and happiness, good health, and please surround yourself with friends and family. Do what you want to do and when you want to do it. All the best. Good, Good night. night. Thank you, Mary and Peter. We now provide tonight's last words to the Director of Education and also a retiree this year, Stuart Miller. Hello, everyone. Uh, and welcome to the retirement celebration, um, or thank you for the retirement celebration. And I guess that's what I'm gonna say first of all. Thank you for the many, many years of service that you have given to public education and to our students. I absolutely believe 
that the thing that really changes the world and makes this a civil society in which we can all live together and feel included and, and reach for our dreams and aspire is a democracy. And the thing that leads to the democracy is education. And you have all served your time. You have all done your duty. You have done unbelievable work in perpetuating education and thereby perpetuating the civil society that we live in. No matter what your role is, you have made a significant difference in the education of young people. You know, as you look back this year, uh, the last 18 months actually, it has been probably the most interesting and perhaps anxiety-filled time that all of you have experienced. It certainly has been for me. It has been a difficult, challenging time. And it speaks to our professionalism and our sense of duty to where we live and who we are, that we persevered and we got through it and we have made a difference for a great many thousands of students and families. So you've done it. You're there. I've been coming to these retirement celebrations since 2003 and I can tell you they are one of the best things that ever happens at this board because you're able to look out and see a sea of people who have committed themselves to making a difference. And it, regardless of your role, from every position in this board, you have made a difference. And I love these dinners and I'm sad that we're not together tonight because we could shake hands, have a drink and joke around and uh, reflect on our careers, but we're not. And so we're making the most of this and I wanna thank our entire staff for making the most of it and getting this out there. So as you go into retirement, you know, I've said this in the past, one of the things that defines us as, as human beings when we're working is our job. Often you're in a social environment and people say, um, what do you do? What do you work at? Uh, those kinds of things. And so we've often made our, our character, our, our personality related to what we work at. And now we won't be working. And so now what do we do? Well, this is the most important time now because now we can just be us. Our job doesn't define us. Our work doesn't define us. We define ourselves. So now's your time. You can talk about you and everybody better listen because you've put your time in education and you've put your time into society. So, you know, I wish you all the best as you go into retirement. I really, truly wish you all the best as you go into retirement. And I'm happy to be joining this illustrious group as I go into retirement. I couldn't think of a better group to go in with. So I, uh, I, I, I can't say any more about what you've done other than thank you. It's been an incredible journey that you've all been on and it was, it was really, really incredible the last year and a half. So thank you. All the best everyone. Enjoy, because I know I will. <laughs>